How would you be if you truly trusted life? Life bears the ultimate wisdom and it is safe to trust it. So many of our modern ways of being have conditioned us to only feel safe if we are in control of our environment, of other people and their choices, of what and how and when things happen. We can create everything and anything to be exactly how we want it, from social media to whose ideas and opinions we engage with, and even genetics. We walk predictable and predetermined pathways because we are told they are safe. For example, work 40 plus years in one career and then retire, go to university, get married, etc. We're told that if we meditate for 15 hours a day and disengage from our bodies, we'll reach enlightenment. We believe that if we do particular things for particular people, they will do what we want from them for us. More often than not, all of this and more is done in an attempt to create security in a world where we feel insecure. Beyond judging this as good and bad, this is something that is simply happening. And a part of me wonders if we look at cause and effect, we'd see if and how this illusion of control serves humanity. Because of this, many people spend their lives endlessly anxious, disconnected, stressed, and fighting themselves if something uncontrollable happens in their lives because they have come to believe that life is only safe if they can control life and predict and determine its outcome. But safety is not rooted in control of life. It is rooted in relationship with and to it. How would you be if instead of trying to control, you were in conscious relationship to the present moment, the whole of life, humans and beyond humans, the flow of life within and beyond us, and reality as it is, beyond our fears, projections, judgments, attachments, desires, and expectations. What unnecessary trouble humanity has dug themselves, the earth, and the life that they commune on earth with in order to feel safe? Life is not a threat that we need to protect ourselves from. The ways we have been taught and conditioned to relate to life, however, is a threat. Life is happening. Be with it. Let it impact and touch you. Decide how you wish to relate to it. Life is infinite energy but our capacity to live from this place is depleted when we are fighting the effects of our attempts to interfere. It takes effort to fight and resist. It takes no effort to be. When we are in relation, we can simply be with each other and the whole of life as it is happening and unfolding within and around us. This is where magic happens. This is also our most fertile point of creation. How intimate can you be with any experience when you try to control rather than attune to and harmonize with something or someone? When we attempt to control, you are not being with what is. You are not connecting with what is. You are attempting to make what is different from what it is in order for it to become what you believe it should be for you to feel safe, powerful, etc. Life is the teacher and intimacy with, with life is how all masters known and unknown have become enlightened. They live in the light of truth 
because they chose to be with it, within and beyond themselves. To experience open-hearted intimacy with life, we need to be truly present, open to truth revealing itself, free from the blinders that we can project onto life with our fears, our worries, our judgments, our desires, our expectations, and our attachments. Truth is always effortlessly revealing itself. Do we have the capacity to be with it? Can we be with the truth inherent in life and see how it expands fixed judgments and ideas of pleasant as good and unpleasant as wrong? Doing so, we free ourselves from these judgments and narratives that disconnect us from the truth of life. Be with the truth of life and the freedom that comes from that choice. Here, we build our capacity to be with, participate in, and be receptive to unadulterated truth as it is, which is different from truth as we wish to see it. The practice of letting this all be and letting this all go is one that accepts that reality is so much larger than any idea that we have of it. It does not follow the rules nor the limitations that we make for it. But when we align and harmonize with life, we no longer need it to. We see how the unseen essence of life has always done exactly what it has needed to do since it began. And this has allowed the seen aspects of life to exist in effortless harmony. The harmony exists in every moment and we'd see it clear as day if we just dropped all of the things that distract us. The sun and moon have followed their flow for billions of years and life was created through and from a harmony with the rhythm. Your lungs and the lungs of pretty much all beings have synchronized with the needs and the gifts of trees and you've done absolutely nothing consciously to participate in this dynamic. Every cell holds their own intelligence that keeps all physical form functioning in alignment with the universe. Planets follow their orbit unquestionably People, animals, and plants die so that other people, animals, and plants may live. This is the harmony of life. You impact and are impacted by everything. This is what it is to be the flow. You, in an isolated individual sense, are not the flow. But the you, as in a sense of beingness shared by all that is, is the flow. This is oneness and flow is how this oneness is communicated. This harmony of life is the source of flow. This happened before humanity and it will continue beyond humanity. We can trust how life flows, its timing, its pacing, its reasoning. Life's flow is the very reason you and I are here today. Nothing that ever was, is, and could be can exist beyond it. So why fight it? We have to learn how to trust life and how to trust flow completely. But to trust completely, we have to let go of all of the ways of being and doing that interfere with that flow. Through this, we consciously harmonize with the truth that life's flow is the way. Life truly happens without our doing. And the clearer we get within ourselves, the less barriers we create in life happening through us. This is the experience of effortlessness. This is the experience of not being the doer. This does not mean that you do nothing. What it does mean 
is that you are in such open and present relationship to the flow of life that things happen effortlessly. Whatever needs to get done through you, you receive the inspiration and the energy to do it. You do nothing to receive it. And when that call is fulfilled, life responds. You are not doing anything that wasn't already considered as needed by the life force that informs the universe. We see the flow happening within and around us seamlessly and the interconnectedness of every single moment and every single experience of reality and we can revel in awe and embrace of this miracle, this mystery. We can laugh at how futile our efforts to control, predict, or force life's timeless way in wisdom is. And in letting go, we open to the grace that we have to be present with life's process, moving through us all as it always has and as it always will. So let go. You are safe with life. Trust the present as the space to harmonize with life. Because now is where life is. Here, happening and unfolding. Be here, right where you are. And everything that is needed will come to you. And don't just take my word for it either. Don't let these words that I'm saying or these subtitles that you're reading remain concepts for you. Sincerely pursue the path of experiencing this yourself and my words will lose all of its meaning compared to your experience. Open up to life. Be present. Let go of everything that distracts you from being present with love, with life, with truth as it is and you will experience wonders. I hope that this video supports you in experiencing and accessing the truth, the love, and the freedom that is available to us when we live in harmony with life. And the first step to doing that is letting go, is letting go of all that restricts our energy flow and our capacity to harmonize with life. I hold sessions to assist folks in doing just that. The first session is always free and all future sessions are done on a sliding scale donation basis based off of what you can afford. Now is the time more than ever to do this work. And so if you're interested in holding a session with me, you can just follow the link in the description below. Take good care.